Good afternoon, Poké Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 8 video bringing you a Kurum White. Now, Dragon Ice type Kurum is kind of a gross Pokemon. Gross in terms of it is pretty darn good. And I don't want to say better than Reshiram because there are some things that Reshiram does that Kurum doesn't do, like, you know, get a fire stab. But Kyurem does have access to fire moves, access to dragon moves, access to ice moves, which makes it just that much stronger, along with just some incredible special attack stat and incredible defenses. So, here we have a Kyurem with an Assault Vest. We'll see how it does today. We also do have the Tornadus here to give us a little bit of a Tailwind option because Kyurem is not that fast. So we do need a little, bit of, a little bit of help when it comes to speed control. We also do have the Brutal Swing on Tornadus to proc our friend Metagross's weakness policy. Metagross will... Probably be the Dynamax option for most games. We'll see how this rolls. See how well it does. Um, see if we're forced to Dynamax the the Kyurem at any point. We also have our good friend Togekiss. Hey, Togekiss is here. We decided to go with the Walking Berry just because Regilecki is a Pokemon, and that's kind of the only thing stopping Togekiss from being utterly disgusting like it used to be. I think I miss it. I mean, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss Togekiss. So it's time to bring it back uh, back onto the channel. This Pokemon I don't miss is Incineroar, but hey, it's on every single team, so he's Incineroar. And then Urshifu, and that's the team. If you guys are excited, then you know what to do. Hit, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Poke Sports if you haven't done so already because we have a new rental code every single day. And streams will be starting up next week as well. My stream will be on Tuesday. Mike's stream will be on Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, so get hyped for that. Anyway, it's time for these battles. I forgot to give him a move, Berm. <laughs> Oops. If it isn't our favorite Tornogre team. Big yikes, but hey. But hey. We got the AV on our... our on our Kyurem. So I guess it, it, it's not the end of the world, right? It, it's definitely going to be annoying to play against, but it's not the end of the world. We can play around it and kind of see what our options are. I think for sure we'll start off with a Metagross. <laughs> Metagross turn ogre lead just to match the, the opposing tailwind. I guess we could also just bring Insin in the lead. Sack off the Insin just to stop the uh, tailwind from the Tornadus. I, I don't want to do that, but I think it is our best option. So we're going to leave the Assault Vest Kyurem. We're going to do an Insin Kyurem lead, bring the Torn Ogre in the back. I don't think we need Tokiss this game. It actually doesn't benefit us at all to bring Tokiss. Maybe just for a little bit of redirection, but they have a lot of spread moves on their team. Um, and I don't think it benefits us to bring the Urshifu either. Just against the Kartana, I guess. But we have our own instant to deal with Kartana, but granted, the instant's probably not making it out of the turn. Regardless, we got Fusion Flare on Kyurem, so. We're good on fire moves. Anyway, Serena. I don't even know you, but I already hate you for bringing this team. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Tornadus Kyogre. Okay, well, we expected this. I'm not surprised at all. Kyogre has Drizzle. Wow. And Ensign has Intimidate. Double wow. Um, yeah, I think our option is just KO Tornadus at least, right? We sack off the Ensign because that's our only option. And we just take this opportunity to Hailstorm, change the weather, and also knock out the Torn, right? And at the very least, if Torn protects this turn, I don't actually know if Torn... Because this, like this is like a common archetype, a common team... Um, which means they're all probably using some rental code out there. I don't know if that rental code includes Protect on their torn. I feel like I should have known that by now. That is such a cool Dynamax animation On such a cool Pokemon Kyogre's gonna D-Max here, so they're just gonna change the weather right back to water. I guess that's okay, right? Uh, anyway, I'm feeling real happy that I'm not a fire type right about now. <laughs> At least we're resisted to water as it stands with the salt vest. So theoretically we should be taking these Kyogre attacks very well. 
Um, but yeah. They do have Protect on their Tornado, sadly. Well, like I said, we changed the weather. It was, a, it was worth a shot. We could at least go in with our own Tornadoes now and match the Tailwind. Which I guess we could have done from the beginning, but... I wanted to try to get rid of it if I had the opportunity to. And at least the Kyogre is not going to be hitting the Ensign with water boosting damage. Right? So, that's cool too. It is going to change the weather back to Geyser though. But as long as we are able to... You win for the Kirim? <laughs> I cannot be any happier right about now. I don't get Tailwind up. Which means the Kyogre is going to attack first this next turn. Do I sack the instant though? Like, I can't hard swap into any of these mons, to be honest. Like, all these mons are kind of bad in Kyogre. I guess regardless, the instant still goes down this turn. Just in case they allow me to do this. A parting shot on the Kyogre and then just go for another Hailstorm. Onto Torn to get rid of the Torn. And if Torn wants a Tailwind here, so be it. We'll Tailwind next turn. So that their tailwind will actually end before our tailwind will. And they're just going to go for the guys. Who, uh, seeing how much damage they just did to Kyurem, they're definitely not going to attack Kyurem again. It's just going to go right into Instant and knock out the Instant. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, we get the, the hard swap. Not hard swap. I mean, we essentially just knock out each other's side mons, right? We take out the Torn. They take out our Instant. We go into Torn. We step Tailwind. And we also get rid of their weather. Which is fairly big news. Go right into you. Now I wish there was something that we could do. Dang it. Uh, we don't actually have protect. With our tornadoes. That was such a good switch for my opponent. Oh, I can't even be mad at that switch. It was really good. Oh, I do have protect. Never mind. I'm next level. Haha. -ha. <laughs> uh, what do we do? Um, we could quake. Yeah, quake is quake onto the instant. Raise their special defense for the Kyogre, while also doing super effective damage to the instant. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, they could party shot if they wanted to. No, nope, they just go for fake out. Cool. Even better. And then change it back to Geyser. That's not gonna. Oh, it does matter. We're going to outspeed it next turn, though, so I don't know if it, like, matter matters, you know? It's definitely annoying. But at least we get this special defense raise. And so much damage to that instant. Wow, okay. Really good damage. But now what? We kind of just have to put ourselves in a situation... The Kyogre is not a problem for us. So that includes doing as much damage to Kyogre as possible so that Water Spout doesn't hurt that much. How do I do that? Anyway, let's go for Tailwind. Can't Blizzard. I can Earth Power, but... Actually, Earth Power might be my only option. Draco would do a lot of damage to Kyogre. Don't get me wrong, but it would also force me to do almost no damage. I think, like, Earth Power as an option over time is more reliable, considering the fact that we know Kyogre can't do that much damage to cure him as it stands. Let's see how much this does. One more, and it warrants, uh... Okay, they just went straight for Origin Pulse anyway. And Tornadus avoids! That's huge! Because cure him doesn't care! <laughs> Uh, we're gonna see a parting shot. No, just a flare. Flare was in the rain. Okay. That still hurts a lot. Okay, we gotta get rid of that one too. We gotta get rid of everything. Let's go over the air slash onto the ensign. Let's go for another earth power into Kyogre here. We're just gonna keep chipping away at Kyogre. Perfect. Air slash into the ensign. Oh, almost perfect. Kyurem avoids this time. That's, uh, I, I wish that was Tornadus. 
<laughs> or Tornadus. Oh, we're gonna look at the special defense though. Okay. So far, this is working. And Instant's not gonna knock itself out. That's still hurting way too much though. Jeez. It's fine though. Instant knocks itself out. I, I'm in a kind of an awkward position because I really need to preserve my fire type. Oh, no, I don't. They didn't bring Cortana. Cool. And we're now in Tailwind while they're out of Tailwind. So I say, how about we change things up a little bit? We're going to go for the Air Slash onto Kyogre. That way. What do I have in the back? Metagross. Metagross with Stopping Tantrum should be enough to KO the Aleki. I'll just Earth Power Aleki anyway, because Metagross should also be able to KO the Kyogre quite easily. So much damage this does. We're outspeeding because of Tailwind. Thankfully, we're just going to clean Oko there. Okay. Yes, please. And then Air Slash. Give me that flinch. No, not today. And no misses here either. This is double KO. It's definitely a KO on the Torn. Eat it up, Kiram. Yes. All right, now we just go into meta. And that should be GG. Kiram, like, starting the game off on the field and ending the game off on the field. That is nuts. And we still have one more Tailwind turn to boot. Uh, do we get spicy with Draco? Yes! <laughs> we could have even Fusion Floor just to see the animation, but we got a lot of other games with Kiram on the team. So... We'll get to see Fusion Flare at least at one point today, right? I'm sure. Metagross didn't even get to attack. I always said Metagross was going to be the Dynamax target. Maybe we meant Kiram. <laughs> Not even bad. GG, Serena. Again? We got to do it again? <laughs> Guys. I'm going to say this. Because I don't think my opponent watched my videos. Because I can't even read their name. Um... <sighs> Get more creative with your team building, please. <laughs> I understand it's fun to take rental codes. But, like, enough is enough. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing this team. Anyway, we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to go instant, go cure them. We know that they're, um... They're torn as protects. I don't know if we know that. Is this the exact same team? It might be. It looks like it's in a little bit of a different order. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. We'll go Torn, we'll go Metagross. Do we think that we need to do something differently than last time? I don't think so. And this is fine, right? We know exactly what we have to do to win. My opponent could have played that differently last time to maybe pull a W, but let's just hope my opponent now doesn't make the same decision. Or at least makes the same decisions as my last opponent. Dude, I'm tired of rain. <laughs> maybe series, maybe series nine being series seven is a good idea. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> what they should have done was just remove all Kyogres. Let's see what that does. Sorry, guys. Kyogre gets gets no drizzle anymore. It actually gets a uh, sweet veil or something dumb. They went instant ogre. I'm confident that my Ensign outspeeds their Ensign, so... I could take a good opportunity here. To get a KO on their Ensign. I definitely don't... I could also just fake out Ogre, but Ogre Dynamax is right. I'm gonna Quake. The Ensign. And I believe my Ensign is a fast Ensign, right? It's a like base 116 Ensign. Not base 116. You know, like 116 EVs in, in, in Incineroar's speed. Um, meaning... <laughs> I'm actually going to figure out Ogre. The reason I'm doing this is because if Ensign fakes out something, it doesn't matter. Right? Like me faking out the instant here doesn't actually do anything. Also, this will be good information to have. If we get 
the instant down to right about where it KOs from 100% HP, then we know that they're running the exact same team. Because they're running the exact same instant. They're going to Dynamax the Ogre. That kind of sucks. But hey, whatever. Which means we should have technically gone for the instant. But on the off chance that they didn't and they just went for an, a water spout, this was kind of necessary to do. Regardless, I'm happy that I'm going to be able to raise my special defense here. And they're not actually switching into the, their Torn, which I thought they were going to do. In the back of my mind. Well, now that they know I have Quake, they're definitely going to do it. Okay, so this is the exact same team because they live the exact same health. Alright, well, bye Incineroar! Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Poor thing. Good news is we know that they can't touch the Kyurem, right? The Kyurem is completely safe. Now, who do we go into now? I think it has to be... Ooh. I really regret not faking out that Incin now. I really regret it. That that might make a big difference later on. They could probably go into their torn, right? Yeah, okay. So we're just gonna go into our torn. Um, and hailstorm too. Yeah. Just hailstorm their torn. Then go for a tailwind. We got a Tailwind to match their Tailwind. They have the Tailwind to match our Tailwind. So, their Torn cannot protect. It seems very strange if they did go for Protect. They're just going to allow us to get Tailwind up for kind of free. Actually, what we should have done is Protect. Because then we would have had the Tailwind that lasts longer. Having some regrets, but it looks like my opponent didn't Protect. They didn't Tailwind either. Whoa. My opponent just decided not to Tailwind. And unless they guys are here, they're in trouble. They went for Hurricane. But why? They got a crit too, Dirty. Yeah, they did, go, they did go for Geyser again, so they're going to get the Tailwind up, sadly. They double down into Torn. Do they really not go for Tailwind just because they knew they would have made it out of that turn? Because that would have been wild. I guess I should have protected. Because <laughs> now they're going to get the guaranteed Tailwind. And I can't stop it. They're going to get the Tailwind after the fact. Um, I think here I'm going to flare just to change the weather and go for protect on some Metagross. I just want to try to mitigate the uh, damage output from this Kyogre. Problem is if Kyogre goes for Geyser again, which it will, then the weather is going to be permanently stuck in the rain. But at least if I go for a max flare. I will change it before it does too much damage. The next issue that we have to deal with is the fact that I'm currently negative one because of the instant parting shot. And the instant fake out is going to come right back on the field. So I'm going to have to sit here and protect who the instant is going to fake out to begin with. But like I said, this Max Geyser is going to do no damage. Still hurts. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot less damage than it would have been doing. Next issue is, who do I target now? Because the Instant's going to come back on the field, right? It's going to be Kyogre Instant. Still have a whole other Pokemon I got to break through. This might not be my game. We beat Rain in the last, uh, in the last game, but this might not be my game. Kira might not be able to break through Kyogre. At least not this time. 
My opponent was definitely better than my last opponent because they, they preserved the Tailwind for a little bit later, which is what I wish I did, but I clicked buttons too fast. Um, and they didn't leave the Tailwind, knowing that I would bring the instant fake out. Cartana. Okay, so I kind of know what I have to do. I have to target that Cortana. Like, right now. A fusion Flare. Even at negative one, that should be an incredible amount of damage. And I think I will Ice Punch the Kyogre for a potential freeze. Because I can't think of anything better to do. If Kyogre Water Spouts, I'm in serious trouble, though. Let's be honest. I'm in I'm in a world of pain in a couple seconds. Uh, maybe not my Kyogre, but my... Oh, wow. I went straight for Metagross, huh? See how much Fusion Flare does. The reason why I have to attack Kartana is because Smart Strike will ruin me. And I think my opponent realizes that. They went for Origin Pulse. Miss! Ugh, the wrong one. I could take it with Kyurem. But the Metagross, nope. Oh, that's really bad. Because now the Kartana has no one else to attack. Except for my Kyurem. With a Smart Strike. I gotta go for Fusion Flare again onto Kartana. Just because I know Kartana doesn't have Protect. If Kyogre Protects here, that'll make my day. Even like a Sacred Sword will ruin me. Also, Kyogre's gonna get a turn to outspeed me next turn. Because they're gonna have Tailwind up while my Tailwind goes away. I don't actually know why my opponent has to think too much. They can kinda just water spot and win. There's a smart strike. This is gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt real bad. Oh my goodness, that's GG. We're gonna get rid of the Kartana. We're gonna bring it down to a 1 0, but the rain team. The rain, the rain team wins this round, alright? You win this round, you can have this victory, madam. That could have missed. That would have been funny. <laughs> but hey, Kieran will go down. The parting shot ruined us. The parting shot really ruined us. And uh, the not faking out the insane, such a misplayed turn one. But hey, we identified our issues, our problems. So I think we can go home with at least a smile on our face. Anyway, let's get on to this third battle. And would you look at that. Another rain team. At least this one's a little bit different. Uh, it abuses Dracovish's disgusting damage, though, which is a little bit scary. But at least, you know, it's not the standard. It has a lot of hard-hitting mons, though. Really fast Pokemon on my opponent's side of the field. But thankfully, most of them are special. So my, my Kyurem can take advantage of that. I shouldn't leave Kyurem and... And Ensign? I do Kyurem, Ensign. Again. Except this time we're going to make the right plays. Go in the Torn here. And who do we end off with? We could do Metagross, but they have their own Urshifu, which kind of threatens my Metagross. And they have Celestula, so I don't even want to bring Togekiss. Could always opt for my own Urshifu. And then just try to use my Sash. Get a nice cheap KO. They have no Dark Resistances except for their own Urshi. Let's go Metagross. Let's go Metagross. We're asking to get swept by Urshifu, though. But hey, let's learn our lesson the hard way, right? We already lost the last one against the Rain Team. We won the first one against the Rain Team. This is the deciding battle. What is better, Kyurem White or Rain? <laughs> Kyurem White or Kyogre? We've had three battles today. All were Kyurem White versus Kyogre. Tornadus Kyogre. Wow. Incredible. This lead has happened three times. This might as well be, have been a best of three battle against three different people. <laughs> All right. 
Um, let's go for the same thing we were always going to go for. Let's go for the Hailstorm onto Torn and the Fake Out onto Torn. If they want to protect, so be it. Right? At the very least, we take out the Weather from the Kyogre. Which will mitigate its damage tremendously. So we just double down into Torn. Stop it from setting up Tailwind if that's what it wants to do. It's probably going to protect. I'm confident that maybe, since this is a different team, there's a chance that the Tornadus does not have Protect. There's always that chance, right? There's also that chance that Kyogre doesn't Dynamax here. No, it does. Okay. It does make sense, so. So it doesn't want to get fake outed either. We made the mistake of faking out Kyogre in the last game, so. Let's not make that same mistake. Because they've done nothing but Dynamax in every single game. No protect on the Torn Aedis. Thank you so much. Hailstorm now onto Tornadus. Should be more than enough to knock it out while also changing the weather. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. Okay. We might lose our... Our instant here, but totally worth. They made the mistake. They made the mistake. You left my instant on the field? Yes, please. Doesn't actually change anything because I can't switch out. <laughs> I have like no switch out option. So whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to have to try to change the weather on. Um, maybe they want to lead with... Okay, they bring the Urshi. Oh, Watershi. Okay. That doesn't change too much. And I mean, I can't change the weather on it, which is kind of bad. But I can go for Quake to raise my special defense. I'm also going to have to... Mm, I can't switch. Instant's going to have to be fodder here. I'm going to have to sack off the Instant. I'll attempt to get a parting shot, on, uh, a parting shot off on Kyogre, but I don't think it's going to happen. Regardless, at least we get the special defense raise. So we should be taking these attacks a lot better. And the Urshifu takes a lot of damage to that. Wow, okay, good. Gotta remember, Urshifu's special defense is super low. The one good thing about Kyogre Dynamaxing... Oh, you're gonna... Oh my god, that damage. <laughs> and my instance is gone. Um... I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want that to happen at all. Because now I'm pretty sure Urshifu can go for... Can go for Aquaja in the rain. I'm going to Hailstorm Urshi. And then I'm going to set up Tailwind. Just so I could have Tailwind for my Metagross in the back. There's a Tailwind. They're going to Aqua Jet, though. They have no reason not to. They're Aqua Jetting the Tornadus, though. You messed up. That's a mess up. Because I should KO this Urshifu here. Because it just lowered its defenses with the close combat. And now changing the weather on the Kyogre, too. So that it's uh, damage is mitigated on the Max Geyser. It has to go for Max Geyser. Kyogre gets like no other moves. <laughs> and then. I can bring in my Metagross and Brutal Swing and do some serious damage. My Kyogre's, my Kyogre's not even going away yet. Okay, cool. Um, I'm probably going to have to protect with my Torn though. Because I just can't afford to lose it before I set up my weakness policy, right? Um, I'm probably going to fire off a big old Draco Meteor into this Kyogre as soon as I can, though. That Celestial is a little bit ugly, though. It is a little ugly. It's 
this meteor beam could be a problem. Uh, regardless, I Draco into Kyogre. And I protect. My opponent has so much offensive, like, pressure. It's really starting to, uh, you know, make me shiver a little bit. Perfect. Don't meteor beam. Even better. I get a free Draco meteor off on this Kyogre. Incredible damage. I could not ask for more damage than that. And they went for Water Spout. I might actually make it out of this turn. No, I won't. Okay, it's fine, though. Because we kind of wanted to go into Metagross anyway. And there isn't much that Celestial can really do to Metagross. And now that Kyogre is at that HP... Should we worry about it? I'm not sure. Like, we could just stop and tantrum knock it out, right? We could just... <sighs> yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna Brutal Swing, and we're just gonna stop and tantrum the Kyogre. There shouldn't be any move that Celestial has, unless it's Flamethrower. Okay, good. It didn't protect. We do a lot of damage to Metagross, but I don't think that... The Celestial has Flamethrower, and even if it does, it's in the rain, so it should be mitigated. I'm just gonna bounce in this Kyogre real quick. Nice. There's the Meteor Beam. Oh, boy. Could miss, but it's probably just gonna go right into my... My Tornadus. Oh, no. I think we lose, man. Yep. That's Celestial at plus two now. There's one saving grace. That saving grace is that neither Pokemon can really touch the other Pokemon. I could go for Iron Head Flinches, but I'd rather go for uh, Ice Punch Freezes. Come on. I've played like three hours of the ladder today. I've not gotten any luck all day I'm trying to stall my tailwind. I think we outspeed naturally anyway. We should outspeed naturally, I think. Yeah, we do. I just need one more. Oh, we're fine. He's going for air slashes. We eat those up. Like breakfast. Yes. Oh, this was so close. That's GG. Plus two versus plus two. Metagross is going to take it home. Oh my goodness. Such a good battle though. What are the odds that we go against three rain teams in one video? <laughs> Back to back to back. Kiram White couldn't get a break, but you know what? Kiram White dealt with rain teams very, very well. It just kind of sat there and was like, hey, this is fine. It was great. <laughs> but anyway, let's get you guys this rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Kiram White team. I am nothing but impressed with how disgustingly tanky and assault vest the Kiram White can be while also doing way too much damage than it deserves to do. Again, I don't know the sample size about how great this Pokemon is, but I can tell you it's very good against rain teams. Even in that second battle where we lost, it was a loss that could have been prevented. It was a loss that was made because of poor decisions on my part. Um, and it wasn't the team's fault, which is honestly the best way to deal with losses, right? If the loss is, is the team, then you got to go in and you got to rebuild the team. But if the loss's problem is your poor playing skills, at least you can improve that without, you know, rebuilding the whole team. But anyway, as a great combination with Tornadus and Metagross for weakness policy. It has a great Pokemon in Kyurem. It has the Tokus with Follow Me Redirection. We didn't get to use it today because Tokus doesn't really want to go against rain teams that have, like, steel types and that have electric types. It's not, it's not Togekiss's cup of tea, you know? 
And you got Urshifu, Urshifu, and Sin, Sin, Sin. You know the deal with those two Pokemon. Double Dark types in case you're against like an expanding forest lead with Mewtwo. Hey, did you guys see my Mewtwo video yet? It came out the other day. Anyway, I'm Kevin. This is Poke Sports. The rental code is down below along with the Poke Paste in the description. Make sure to click every single link that you find there because they're all fun li links to click. And uh, yeah, have a great night. Peace out. <laughs>